I think it's fair to say that robot feeding makes the whole business much more flexible regarding the work that needs to be done. The agricultural company Rue Agrar has been operating three farms in Germany using Wasserbauer feeding technology since 2016. We put the first two Shuttle Eco units into operation in winter 2020-2021 after we took over the farm here in Pischer and have since installed a total of five systems during further modernization phases. A Shuttle Eco feeding robot serves precisely metered feed around the clock. From our standpoint, a major advantage of robot feeding is that it gives the employees flexibility. They no longer have to start work at 6 every morning to feed the animals, but at weekends they can even start at 10, as long as the supply ports are still well filled because the robots can do the feeding anyway. So it certainly makes work a lot easier for the employees. It's perfect for farms with several thousand bulls or cows. We reckon with two people to operate the bull fattening barns with 1,650 bulls. Bull fattening is not as labour intensive as dairy farming, and the type of feeding is a decisive factor. Our feeding is completely robot controlled, which is a huge labour saving. The system features units with electric motors that deliver impressive energy efficiency. Achieving enormous cost savings compared to diesel powered vehicles, the advantages are clear. Logistics deployment software called Disponent controls the operation of several shuttle eco units simultaneously. Using the optimization principle ensures that each feeding robot is utilized effectively as possible, increasing overall efficiency many times over. The robots are coordinated by a full-time employee who is in charge of managing bull fattening. From the office, the manager can coordinate the feed portions and the settings for which robot has to go where. The robot is steered by small magnets in the ground, which makes it easy for the units to operate trouble-free between multiple barns. The barns are always scheduled according to a feed barrier side, so one robot always feeds one feed barrier side per trip. We feed the small bulls weighing up to 400 kilograms four times a day, and the larger bulls three times a day. Wasserbauer WebCube software gives you access to all the data you need. This is a valuable controlling tool for keeping track of feed costs and evaluating a range of key factors. The shuttle eco robots are filled at the ports. Alternatively, the feeding robot can also be filled directly in the clamp using the lift silage extractor system. In the specially developed plastic hopper, the feed is perfectly chopped and mixed with the required concentrate and mineral components. The precisely calculated mixed ration of forage and concentrates is then distributed in exact portions. Each pen is supplied with a specific quantity of feed that depends on the weight of the livestock. Getting the feed dosage right is crucial for achieving ideal animal growth and is also a major cost factor, especially for large herds. Fresh feed several times a day supports the natural grazing behavior of the animals. Because the feed is so much fresher and is pushed towards the barrier again, the animals are motivated to consume more, automatically increasing their daily weight gain. The Shuttle Eco's lithium-ion batteries have an extended service life and are charged at a drive-over charging station. Yes, ultimately, this makes bull fattening more economical because while the animals gain more weight every day, you have saved on labour costs. That's why for us, it ticks all the boxes. Automated feeding with the Shuttle Eco feeding robot. Less work, more performance.